Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you steps how I painted this large uh, serial oil painting titled Focus. I did the design in uh, Photoshop Elements. I basically combined my photograph of the model uh, with the image of the butterflies that I found on Pixabay. I made this canvas uh, from scratch, I stretched it and I used th uh, three layers of gesso uh, to gesso the surface. I began painting in color, but the color itself was reduced to just a few uh, very basic browns on the figure itself. And I decided to use a full color uh, painting on the background because I saw no use of uh, underpainting in one, underpainting the background in one color. It was very difficult to follow all those uh, designs, and I thought it was a lot easier to start uh, painting the image in uh, full color. I underpainted the figure in warm browns, like burnt uh, sienna, uh, I think it was the color, and I used some white mixed into it. I did that to warm up the figure and to figure out uh, the lights and darks on her face and on her body. When that first layer dried out, uh, which took um, maybe uh, three or four days, uh, I'm always on the cautious side, so I wait longer, even if it's dry to the touch. And I began overpainting it in color. Uh, this time around, I use a little bit of a linseed oil to make the paint flow. As I paint, I look at my uh, image on the monitor and I can zoom in and zoom out, which is very convenient and it improved my painting process tremendously. I cannot imagine painting from small pictures right now. Um, I think it's not enough information to figure out all the lights and darks and transitions in tones and color temperature. Once I zoom in into a particular area, uh, such as say the eyes, I can see a lot of information there because I took the picture, it wasn't photoshopped for me, 
and uh, it improves my uh, painting process and the result as well. Keep it in mind that my camera is always set at very extreme angles. That's why you see a lot of uh, distortion in the face. But it wasn't the case from the beginning. And but when I uh, keep in, uh, when I kept painting the face, I was aware of the head's rotation because she didn't look straight at me. Her head rotated just a little bit. And it was very important to catch that slight rotation of the head. It made everything to uh, paint very difficult for me because of the anatomical structure, uh, the position of the eyes, the nose, uh, the lips. Um, everything needed to align at a specific angle and it was quite challenging. If you start out painting the portrait, it's uh, best to use the face that looks straight at you so you capture the symmetry of the face as much as possible.
As you see me painting, I actually painted her face in full color, I think in three layers, and the eyes needed the most work. I couldn't get painting one eye uh, correctly, and I think I spent uh, the entire time uh, painting that eye. And the design of the background was also super uh, hard to paint because of all those fractions of color and the design that I had to keep uh, in place. And whenever I paint, I paint from general to specific, meaning that I start painting the large uh, shape first, I let it dry, and then I break that large shape down into smaller shapes and that's how this busy background emerged i created larger passages of color but then i broke them down to smaller shapes changing the color in accordance with my design also when whenever you paint people you need to understand where the light is coming from and to make decisions where you're going to have the lighter side of the face with more highlights stronger highlights as opposed to the darker side of the face where you have fewer highlights or don't have them at all I feel like I'm almost done working on it, but there are still a few things that need to be improved. I want to add more color from the background onto her. And I also see a little bit of a distortion somewhere in her face, and this is something that I'm trying to figure out um, to finish working on this thing. And also the face is not linear. Uh, that's why it's very important to brush the paint um, in specific uh, direction uh, to create volume. In the final stage, I wanted to soften some edges and uh, to lighten up some areas in her hair and for that reason I used a little bit of lighter paint and tried to apply it softly softening the edge and
Also, to unify certain areas on the face or the body, I usually uh, um, take a little bit of paint and I try to brush it over a particular area um, simultaneously and blend it into the rest of the face because this way it unifies uh, the entire area, makes colors blend and look more appealing tra uh, with softer transitions in the face, which is very important. Um, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you uh, want to keep in touch, uh, go to my website, veronikasar.com and subscribe to my um, newsletter. I uh, email about once a month and I give out free information and free downloads once in a while. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that this video helps you in your creative pursuits. Uh, if you have a question, you can leave a comment under this video. I'll try to check and reply to every comment. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.